Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm going to do a deep dive reading for the Royal Family for the month of April. For the month of April, we just had the full moon. So you could almost call this full moon to full moon. Today is March 25th and the full moon happened in the wee hours of the morning here where I live. Uh, so you could almost do a full moon to full moon reading um, or the month of April, next 30 days, um, whatever whatever works here. They're both the same, I'm feeling. I'm really getting a, I don't know why I'm getting a real feeling that April has already started. I don't know if any of you have felt it, and I've had a few people comment about it. I felt a time shift. Like there's a time slip that's happened. It feels like it should be later than it is. Um, last year I had a weird thing that, it, that I thought it was um, earlier than it was. And this year I feel like it, we should be in April already for some reason. Um, yeah, it's bizarre. I get those time slips quite often. One time we were driving through McDonald's in August and um, I said to my husband, we only buy coffee there because it, uh, you get, if you buy... Uh, seven, you get a free one. <laughs> Anyways, and it's not bad coffee, actually. And we were going through McDonald's getting our coffee, and it was August. And I said to my husband, that's so bizarre they don't have Christmas decorations up yet. And he looked at me and said, what are you talking about? I think it was like August 23rd or something. And I said, well, do they not do Christmas anymore? And he's like, what are you talking about? And it, I had to shake my head and get back into the timeline that it was August. I could, I would have sworn to you it was December. And it had nothing to do with the weather. It was like the b most bizarre thing ever. So I'm getting that feeling again. Like we should be deep into April already. Um, so I don't know where this time slip happened. But anyway... The Royals for new moon or full moon to full moon or the month of April, whatever the cards want to tell us, the same, same. All right. Ooh, the fox. The fox. Clover. Oh, they're finally going to get some luck. The house. House of Windsor. Birds. Still going to be lots on social media. Scythe. Man, man, oh man, is a man I'm going to show. Man and man. This deck has duplicates and I don't take the duplicates out because I think it uh, uh, of a deck, I used to take them out. I don't anymore because I now feel like they add more depth to a reading. I think we're going to see a showdown between Harry and William. Book. Tower. Now, the tower is not the same in Lenormand as it is in Tarot. I'll get to that. Ship, mice, and he. The underlying is heart. Okay, I think we're going to see a showdown between Harry and William. Um, and it'll be something about the past. Uh, but we, the book is here and the book is closed. We are not meant to know what it is. It will result in some loss, in some type of loss, um, especially with the tower here. Um, it's something, the, it's, it's a loss from something in the past. So it's not future losses. It's a loss from something in the past. And we don't know what it is. So this, for example, what could be a loss from the past? Um, well, they can't take away any properties from Harry. They already have. Uh, they could take away titles. Um, they could take away, um, let's see. I don't think they can take away inheritances, but they can do something with a trust. Um, what else could they take away that Harry has in the past? Well, we aren't to know. And, I, and that's probably why I'm drawing a blank here. Um, the, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot more social media garbage. Um, and you know what? They're going to pick on where's Catherine again. Uh, interesting. I just saw the K here. I know it's for King, but I saw the K and the house and it looks like it's burning. And so I'm getting, I'm getting that. Where's Kate? Where's Kate? I think they're going to, um, 
with the fox here and the mice and the birds, those are three negative cards. Um, I think we're going to, I think we're still going to see a lot of bots, a lot of bots. And, uh, um, I think it's going to, um, uh, it's going to affect her stability again. Um, I think they might move Kate again. I think they might move Catherine. Um, I, I, it's funny. I said, I, I think they might move Kate. I was going to say, I, I think they might move Catherine to do another um, reveal. That's what I want to say. Um, it's going to be a crazy mixed month of some good news, some bad news. I think there's there's definitely going to be a showdown between the two boys. Um, they do have some kind of sudden good news. Sudden good news. Key, this could almost be one of the things I missed in um in the other in when I did Catherine's reading is sometimes the scythe can be surgery. And that was the first card that showed up. And it was surgery with the key is keyhole surgery. So we might hear Charles, because we have the man, having some kind of, of keyhole surgery. So some kind of removal, especially here with the mice. Um, the, the tower in the house can be um, a, a hospital. So we might hear that, um, or one of the men, I'm, I'm only calling out Charles because we know he's not well, Um He's battling cancer. We might hear that they decide to do some kind of keyhole surgery or he's hospitalized in some in some respect. Um, could even be could even be um, one of the boys, too, because we have them both here. Um, I think we I think we're going to hear. I don't know if we're going to actually see the showdown in public, but something is definitely going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely something going on here. Um, all right, let's get to the deeper dive. Um, I think there's still going to be a lot of outpouring of support for the royal family with that heart card there. Um, I think we're going to see... Um, yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of outpouring of, of, of really sincere... Um, caring and concern, heartwarming. That's what I want to say. But yeah, I think there's going to be, someone's going to have a keyhole surgery, not major surgery, keyhole surgery. Um, I'm almost getting like, it's lucky that they found it somehow again. Like it's, oh, what popped out here? Military. Oh, on top of the fox, I think we've got, uh, I think we've got some five MI six business going on. I think we're gonna. There's things behind the scenes that uh, um, I don't know if we'll ever hear about. Let's see. Okay, house. Look at that, house and house. I think that somebody will be on the move. Somebody's definitely changing. When you have two houses on the table, that means of two houses. So of the move, great fortune, great fortune, deep thoughts on the birds. I think people are going to start rethinking some of the things they put court on the scythe. Someone's in the hospital in April. Someone's definitely in the hospital. Murky thoughts, occupation, expectation on the book. Get together on the tower. Sorrow on the ship. Woe on the mice. There's some kind of loss coming. Good outcome on the key. I know that on the key. Long road. Long road. All right. I think we are... I think we are going to see the next, this April, this full moon, 
is the beginning of three months of big changes in the royal family. Big, big changes. Um, I think there is already some kind of action on on Harry. Interesting, the uh, um, marriage card didn't show up. Uh, somebody's going to be hospitalized. Um, somebody's going to be hospitalized. I'm looking on this woe and mice. Uh, you know, I did that one reading that in June. Um, I did that a while ago. Megan is going to announce that she is, that they are separating. So April, May, June, this is my three month card. And this is, look at the, look at the woe on the mice. Um, so I'm getting that in three months. Yeah, I think I'm going to stand by that in June. We're going to hear about the separation. Um, I think overall, they're going to have a good April. It's going to be toss and turn though. Like it's going to be, they've got a long road ahead of them. Um, I think this, because April also, the first day of spring, March 12th, is the beginning of a new year. And I think with this April, we're starting of Aries, we're in the first deacon of Aries. I think this is going to last for at least two years. Um, the, the, the troubles. And... Um, like, I'm not getting, like, a lot of really amazing cards for them. I think, you know, they're just in the troubles. And uh, I think we're, we're, the next three months, we're going to see it back and forth, back and forth. You know, one win here, one, you know, something else there, one, one win here, something else there. Um, it's interesting, this occupation and this great fortune almost look like they meld together. Um, and this is on the man and the house. Um, so I'm wondering if, um, with a good outcome, I'm wondering if we're going to see Charles have some kind of surgery and that's really going to fix things up for him some kind of uh, keyhole surgery, um, uh, somebody's having surgery. I'm telling you that right now. Doesn't have to be big. Keyhole could be actually dental work as well, getting teeth pulled, right? Um, it's, but it's, I think it's something that they found that they just kind of have to pull out. And then finally, it's going to uh, resolve everything. Um, I think... I think with this woe card, looking at this get together card, that's why I think it might be in three months. This is my three month card. Megan saying adios, I'm out of here. Um, it's because this woe card is looking at this get together card. So looking back at the at the royal family with the with the tower here, because that's looking back. The tower is the past or some kind of authority. So looking back at everything you missed and got out of, I wouldn't be surprised if there's something secret going on that they force her out somehow uh, because there's some kind of sorrows overseas. That's why I think that's what that is. And a good outcome, believe it or not, and I, and I don't like, saying bad things about people or, or wishing people unwell in their marriage, even though it sounds like I do. I understand the juju about that coming back at you. Um, with, with her leaving is one of the best outcomes that the royal family could have, really. Um, I think it would resolve a lot of their problems um, because then everybody would know she's not a royal, you know, and uh, then they could actually probably sue her in public court or whatever, right? Um, yeah, I think they've got really some highs and lows here, some real highs and lows here. So, you know, on one half, they, you know, 
let's say, for example, Catherine's chemo is working, but on the other hand, Charles needs surgery, right? Charles isn't. Now he needs surgery, right? And uh, maybe on one hand, um, you know, they're making some headway on getting rid of some of their, their snakes. and But on the other hand, it's creating a situation with the snake's husband, right? Um, I think we're going to see up and down, up and down, up and down. I think we're going to see a lot of, um, I'm getting like th these three cards, murky thoughts, deep thoughts, sorrows. Like, I think they're going to be like, what is next? What is next? But we definitely have two home, two houses on the table. So somebody is on the move. Remember, this is for the whole royal family. Somebody is on the move in April, definitely, definitely. But it'll be a good move. It's not like they're forced out or anything. Um, this could even be, um, I'm not getting that it's Andrew and Sarah, because I know there's been a lot about that, because there's good fortune on it. There's good fortune in Clover. It'll be a really good lucky move, for example. Really good lucky move because we have good fortune on this house and this house is Clover. So it's going to be like, oh my God, this is the perfect place for us. Um, yeah, you know what? I think there's, uh, we're going to hear good news about one and bad news about another. And this is the start. April is the start of the ending of something, of the loss of, of something, if you could call it a loss. You could call it a loss. Um, interesting. I'm getting this. Look at this occupation sweeping this one away. So, you know, you think about it. Um, William's occupation as Prince of Wales. Sweep that one away. Sweep that one away. <laughs> I know, sorry, I shouldn't sing out loud. All right. Um, they're, they're wondering what they should do about these bots. They're, they're actually really thinking what they should do about these, about these bots. Um, yeah, they're going to, there, there'll be a cons really, um, a strong effort later on in the month um about these bots and you could even think these are bots here too uh they'll figure it out though they'll figure it uh, out it might even be part of the reason why they're um doing a, a really strong push to get this one out this one who creates so much woe i want to show you this is number 14 and the fox is number 14 the opportunist the opportunist but the mice is here so she she might be uh leaving all right well good luck have a i hope uh i hope i hope that some of the the um more negative things don't come true and some of the positive things multiply take good care thank you for watching see you online bye for now <laughs>